Chef Randy Sherby with the John Falls Culinary Institute at Nickel State University in Thibodeau. Welcome to our kitchens once again. Uh, uh, we're going to be uh, finishing our roux right now uh, from our last segment and uh, basically we're just waiting it to get to a, a medium brown consistency. All right. Um, it's funny about Cajun and Creole cuisine. You look up most recipes or, or people tell you how to make a certain recipe and usually the first thing uh, on the recipe is uh, first you make a roux. Um, some people make roux in their uh, microwaves. Some people make roux in, uh, in their conventional or conve convection ovens. I like it the old fashioned way with oil um, on top of a stove and then I can really feel it, all right? This is coming along real nicely. This is a very nice color developing right here. And you start to smell a very nutty aroma in the kitchen. This is something that uh, South Louisiana people grew up smelling in their kitchens. And it's a, one of our favorite things, you know, uh, to smell this. And it's, uh, it's really delightful. Um, now that we've gotten this pretty much to the color that we want for a chicken gumbo, what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and start adding our Trinity. We call Trinity onions, celery and bell pepper. You know, in the um, in the French lexicon of cooking, it's mirepoix, which is 50% onions, 25% celery, and 25% um, carrots. But in South Louisiana, peppers grow like crazy. And we came to really like the taste of peppers and different kinds of chili peppers and whatnot, but particularly sweet bell peppers. Um, I'm gonna wait a while before I add the uh, peppers and celery. Peppers and celery have a lot of water content. Um, what's beautiful about onions, and especially in this roux right now, is uh, you know this roux is about maybe 360, 370 degrees. What's happening to those onions is that uh, a very natural sugar is, is uh, caramelizing, and it's gonna really give our, 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 our gumbo a, a certain complexity or a depth of flavor that we're gonna really like to bring out the sweetness in the onion. Normally I would do this maybe a little bit longer, all right? Then I'll go ahead and add the peppers, the celery, and the garlic. Now, at this point, you know, the roux can pretty much be, um, we just gotta cook this for a few more minutes like this. Um, and then after I turn off the, the, um, the, 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 the heat to it, I'll just stir it for a few more minutes. And this can be even stored in bags. It could be frozen. It could be just stored in a refrigerator. Uh, if you're gonna be making the gumbo the next day. Indeed, I know some restaurants who make very large batches of this with just the Trinity in this and they take out what they need as they need it, all right? In the course of, uh, of making a, a variety of dishes. So, uh, so this is a very good uh, roux right here. And uh, now we just have to make our gumbo, all right? Thanks for joining the uh, for joining me in the, in the kitchen today, and I, I look forward to seeing you soon.